Lucky. This is K4 Lima Zulu on 20 meters radio check. Over. W2 Victor Alpha. I've got you loud and clear, Hank. How are things in your neck of the woods? Over. Hello, Bob. I have your signal 5x3. The rain's been on and off the past couple of days, and the wind is. CQ, CQ, K4 Lima Zulu calling any station. CQ 20 radio check. Bob, do you have your ears on? Over. Bob, Bob, I need to measure it for you. Bob, I need to measure it for you. Bob, can you hear me later? Unknown station, say again, please. K4 Lima Zulu. Unknown station, please identify yourself. I am Colonel of Soviet Air Forces, Andrei Voskresensky. Do you read? Unidentified station. These things aren't toys. Be advised that unlicensed operation on the amateur radio band violates Section 301 of the Communications Act of 1934. K for Lima Zulu. Out.
Lucky. Supper. I don't know, Hank. They all got books for Christmas, but they're just plugged into that damn television. Over. That stuff will rot your brain. <laughs> Roger that, Hank. This is just getting out of Hank, this is Andre. I require your assistance. Do you read? Listen. I don't know how or why you're doing this, but if you really are a Rusky, go bother your communist comrades. I don't want any part of it. K4 Lima Zulu. Out. Please, hi. Lucky. 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 Fine. Leave. Everybody else does. transmitting from and how do you know my name I have been listening to your signal for several days I am over northwest part of America over da, da. Affirmative. I am Soviet cosmonaut Andre Voskresensky assigned to Vosko 3 space flight you're out of your mind cosmonaut how in the hell do you expect me to believe any of this look to north of your Washington skyline I will be moving overhead into South West. Andre, I saw you. Andre. to Andre, come in. Hank, to Andre, please respond. Good to hear you. Roger that. What is going on up there? Power surge damaged many systems. There is little possibility that I will survive re-entry. I could radio the police. Uh, they'll notify the proper authorities. No. No, nothing can be done to save ship. I knew the risks when I was going for this. 
but I would like to send word to family. Will you transmit message to Soviet Union? Nonsense. There must be something that can be done. There always is. Mm. I've spent much time with engineers. Damage is too severe. And the orbit only allows for 15 minutes of radio contact per day. And I have no guarantee this will work again tomorrow. Will you help me? No. I can't do that. No, no way, no. Please. If anybody heard me broadcasting to the Soviet Union, how about your communist space mission, they throw me in the brig. I was in the military too, I know what they do to traitors. Hell, I should be reporting even this contact. I see. I understand. You make a good point. I should be in range again tomorrow. Perhaps we talk again. but is better at home. Do you know how much time you have left until... Re-entry. Five days. Capsule has automatic return to Earth set for November 24th. In the morning, your time. No, that was last week. We're into December already. Not according to computer. Well, I don't know what kind of contraption you have up there, but... Here, listen for yourself. One thing up here isn't broken. November 19th, 8 p.m. on the 19th. But I... That can't be. How long have you been in the woods? It's not that, damn it. Look, I know it's December. I'm damn sure of it. I set my watch to that station just the other day. That day that morning I found but I can't read the rest. What? And a dual process. With two rows of trimmers. Four red and two black. It has some sort of cable input also. Where are you going with this? I think something's happened. Maybe even a miracle. A few days ago, I found some burnt up debris in the woods. There are Russian markings on some of the parts. I was thinking it could be... In an aircraft, or... I, I... I never imagined. And then you tell me it's still November? That means you haven't crashed yet. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. I found you. Or your ship, anyway. I don't know how, but I think I have parts of it here. <laughs> Impossible. No, it's not. I used to design aircraft systems. Maybe I can help you. I have the perfect blueprint right here in front of me. Yet, you have no idea what you're saying. Stop it, old man. Stop it right now. You have to tell me more about your ship. It's shit. It's a piece of useless trash. And I'm stuck in this rock. Until it burns up. 
Look, I know how impossible this sounds, but I can help you get home. Wouldn't you do anything to be with your family again? Even if it is with the help of a crazy old man in the woods? You say your ship won't survive re-entry? Tell me more. I'm supposed to eject from capsule at high altitude, but the recovery sequencer that controls that is kaput. I need to know everything you know about that parachute system. It is complex. Where do I begin? We'll remove the control box and trace the wire path back to the open circuit. And we need to be very, very, very careful. One wrong wire and that primer could fire. You'd eject right there in orbit. That would not be good. I won't let that happen. I'll test everything here first. This looks to have one of the newer style silicone rectifiers. I've serviced these before. Do you have friends or do you keep your electronic parts? I have a dog. Lucky. I think you ran off, though. I, I guess that means you're it. No, I'm telling you, you have it backwards. It's green wire at 24 volts first, black wire connects the manifold after. You'll fry the whole damn thing that way. It's black, then green, got it? Really, no coffee. I don't know who I'd be without it. Whatever's better for you, but food, huh? Soon there'll only be Riga bread and dried grapes left. Well, that's not so bad, is it? Raisins are shit. <laughs> How does that work up there, anyway? <laughs> it's classified. If you soldered that one, that should be the end of those wires. Then we moved to the Midwest for a couple of years, and uh, I ended up here on the on the coast. Next, you'll connect your favorite wire, the red one. My favorite? Uh, because your old eyes can see it easier. Say again, my old ears didn't quite catch that. <laughs> okay, red wire, copy. Patch completed. Now what? We wait. You'll pass overhead once more tomorrow morning. I'll be here in case anything goes wrong. You should get some rest. children just one his name is Chris is he handy like father he did all right he was a bit stubborn at times actually Chris was a pilot too US Air Force you must be very proud why did he stop my son, Victor. He could be very stubborn, too. You know, it's funny. Now it makes me miss him even more. It does. Comrades in the space program often remind me how lucky I am to be chosen. I wonder how many of them would trade places with me now. Flying was the one thing Chris and I could actually agree on. Things were so busy back then. Contracts, deadlines. He was selected to fly a new supersonic airplane, top of his class. Brilliant. Everything was going by the numbers. A 
somehow we got into a flat spin. I wish I could have been there for him. Tell him I love him. Tell him everything would be okay. Tell him I'm proud. I sometimes wish it was me in that death trap instead of him. The official investigation blamed the crash on a faulty linkage. I swear. I, s I swear I checked the damn thing. so goddamn careless. Are you still there? through 16. find it. He cried all night. The next day, he had forgotten all about the toy dog. I wonder if he will forget about me too. I want him to live full life with eyes forward. No looking to the past. I'm proud to know you, Andre. Uh, I'm sure about that. I'm about to litter all over your country 